OpenAI just released GPT-4 or the new and improved ChatGPT-3 platform. In today's video, we're going to dive in and talk about some of the things to expect and ways to utilize GPT-4 to not only increase or supplement some of your income this year in 2023, but also some of the things and ways to use it that might not even be tapped yet. Welcome back to TQM or the quintessential millennial channel where we talk about all things millennials and what seems like all things side hustles. If you are new around here, consider smashing the like button down below and subscribing to the channel. GPT-4, taking the world by storm. So the question becomes the very first thing that I was wondering is what are the upgrades? What does GPT-4 actually have to offer? Well, the things that you probably saw that are circulating around the internet is how the LSAT or the bar exam were actually passed in the 90th percentile by chat GPT-4 or GPT-4. Now, if we scroll down and go on OpenAI's website, some of the things that highlighted here amongst or between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, the one we were using on all previous videos and up to this point in 2023, you could see some of the big highlights. Elsa in the 88th percentile versus the 40th percentile on GPT-3.5. And then the SAT math portion, a 700 out of 800, which is an 89th percentile score relative to 70th percentile on 3.5. And you can see some of the AP, AP exams, how it tested versus 3.5. So again, pretty cool. But the question now becomes, how do we utilize this platform to actually supplement our income? Well, I came across this thread on Twitter and I thought it was excellent. And it was by Andrew Lockenoff. And he said, everyone's talking about GPT-4. It can process videos, images, speech, and text now. Previously, with chat GPT-3, all we could do was, again, input some form of text and it will output an answer for us, depending on the question we were asking or if we were making a comment that we wanted more elaboration on. But now, imagine taking an image and one of the things that they did on their tutorial when they were just announcing GPT-4 is one of the developers wrote on a napkin, just design me a website with X, Y, Z. A nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up, and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. Technology now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next, right? It played this, uh, this game of, sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output so literally, we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mock-up. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. He posted it, and from there, a website was created. Think about the power of that. And some people are saying this is not a tenfold increase from what we saw with Jet GPT-3, but instead actually maybe 300 times the bandwidth that we have previously seen. And the most incredible thing, in my opinion, yes, GPT-4 or Chat GPT Plus is not a free platform. It does cost $20. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so because I will be paying for the subscription to show you guys some of the utility and comparing side by side what these two really do have, whether in common or some of the things that are advantageous on GPT-4. But let's go ahead and dive into the thread here. So one of the things was talking about the drawing of the website, but what I thought was incredible, an example that I think not many people would think about, but it was showing. Do not pay is working on GPT-4 to generate one-click lawsuits. To sue robocallers for $1,500, imagine all those spam callers that you get. For me, it's been a lot about healthcare insurance and you probably get them about your vehicle warranty expiring. 
Imagine anytime you get one of those calls, you click a button on your phone and then they get an automated response saying, if you call again, I have the right to sue. And it says here, sue robocallers for $1,500. Imagine receiving a call, clicking a button, call is transcribed and a thousand word lawsuit is then generated. GPT 3.5 was not good enough to do so, but as you can see in the video down below, GPT-4 handles the job extremely well. This was posted by Joshua Broder. Now, if we scroll down, one of the things that really excited me, or I should say two of them, the first being this video game. ChatGPT-3 didn't really have the capability of creating full, I don't want to call them assets, but a full code for gaming. It did have the ability to write your code for certain tasks and things of that nature, but with GPT-4, you can actually, and it says here, incredible and transformative technology where it recreated the game of Pong in less than 60 seconds. And you could see a simple question was asked and it gave an answer. And not only did it give an answer and it asked, I want to build a Pong-like game. What's the best language to do so? It showed the language HTML5, Canvas API. And in addition, it used JavaScript and HTML5 to create the full code for the game and not only did it do that, they took the code, pasted it, and the game was live. So folks, GPT-4 and artificial intelligence as a whole, especially from a sense of deep learning, is spectacular. And I think, again, the more we stop worrying about the potential repercussions, which I know there probably will be some down the line, we need to understand how do we embrace this new technology and work with it. And here, as someone who is in crypto, this one really did spark my interest. Andrew mentioned as the sixth part of his thread, GPT-4 posted by an individual named Connor. GC or G Connor, he posted on Twitter yesterday, or I should say probably Rocky take that part off with the date. On March 14th, Connor posted this specific post. I dumped a live Ethereum contract into GPT-4. For those of you who don't know, Ethereum or ERC-20 based contracts are basically the smart contracts that you can create on the Ethereum blockchain network. The second, the second biggest cryptocurrency in the market by market cap is Ethereum. So previously, you had to be someone who has some significant computer science, computer engineering type background to go ahead and develop these smart contracts. And one of the biggest things that happens in crypto is we hear about these things called rug pulls or malicious contracts. For people like you and I, you know, ordinary individuals maybe watching this video and myself, I don't have the experience to look through a contract and be able to tell via the code what is right and what is wrong and what could be malicious. Well, GPT-4 now will do that for us. He wrote here, in an instant, it highlighted a number of security vulnerabilities and pointed out surface ideas where the contract could be exploited. It then verified a specific way I could exploit the contract. So consider that. Token developers in the cryptocurrency sphere, I should say, are being paid tens of thousands of dollars to develop these different smart contracts. So now, not only are we looking at it from a development standpoint, but from an auditing standpoint, imagine offering services to people and showing them, hey, I can show you exploits on your contract, which you can get paid out probably thousands of dollars. I know previously, you know, on my other channel, I've worked with auditors and they would tell me, you know, I charge two, three, four thousand dollars for me to complete an audit because it does take time. GPT-4 expedites the process. So say you are someone who's already doing these audits as a full time job. Well, now you supplement that and you have GPT-4 complete a quick search for you. And then you dive in and look at the certain vulnerabilities. But the thread continues and he talks about all the different things and the way it did catch these different. So he said here. This contract was hacked in 2018 via the vulnerabilities that GPT pointed out and the contract he posted on the thread. So for someone that's in crypto, it really did catch my eye as something super powerful. And remember guys, between GPT-3 and GPT-4, it's only been three and a half months for this 300 fold increase in bandwidth, deep learning capabilities, and also machine learning. So the question becomes what happens in three and a half more months? What happens a year from now? What about GPT-5? So I think it's incredible what the entire artificial intelligence realm and sector is currently offering in terms of technology, in terms of financial opportunities. And I think we need to seize them in 2023. Don't let the scares of a recession 
make you focus on, you know, dollar by dollar. Identify ways to start supplementing your income this year. And that's the purpose of this channel, The Quintessential Millennial. I think the name doesn't really even fit what the direction we are heading. But regardless, I do think it's quite significant on what is capable and what people can do in terms of side hustles, especially coupling their skill set with artificial intelligence. And I want to leave you with this. We have a month left till tax season. And one of the last utilities that were shown on the live demonstration on March 14th, the date that GPT-4 was released, was they completed a full tax filing for an individual. Yes, what you right now are paying for with TurboTax or a CPA was completed. It wasn't the most complex case, but the fact that it was able to figure out total assets versus liabilities, figure out total amount owed in the state level and the federal level. And it was able to figure out ways to even not only do that, but what are some write-offs you have the ability to add on to hopefully offset some of the gains that you made that year. It's pretty substantial and we can't overlook these things. So I do appreciate your support as always. And I hope today's video you found informative. More videos will come on GPT-4 on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned because I think, again, there are some really cool ways we can figure out to supplement our income in 2023 utilizing different AI tools, especially GPT-3 and now GPT-4. That's all I had for you guys today. And until next time, everybody, as always, take care.